Right, today we've got the Swift Challenger SE. It's a 565 Lux. Don't forget the Lux bit. Uh, it's 2016, as I say. Maximum weight is 15.50. As it stands in, it's 13.61. 23 let's let's say 24 foot overall from very very front to very very back it's 24 foot um and 18 foot internal nice fun this uh, it's got a motor mover fitted on there as well external 230 locker that goes underneath of that front seating for storage barbecue point uh gas bottles in the front we've got the alco atc 13 pin electrics alco stabilized hitch head Aldi central heating, that's nice. Uh, water pump plugs in here, battery box and 230 volt. Set toilets at the back and we've got our wastewater outlets just below there. Nice tidy van, it's not been locked around. There's an extra little aerial point here for the radio. Um, so it doesn't just run off the satellite or the that dish aerial status aerial that's the word i'm looking for mushroom um, the mushroom satellite status aerial uh, it's nice isn't it Very i like modern. I, yeah i like the nice. colors in this and uh, you wouldn't have said this was 2016 at all would you uh, no 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 actually it's eight it years looks, old no, yeah, yeah it's surprising right. six six years old yeah yeah we just can't add up no uh, today nice gloss finish um we've got two 30 volt plugs up the front cigarette 12 volt sort of style lighter uh aerial points another two 30 volt this little table slides out uh nice set of drawers in the in the front um plenty of storage all underneath these seats you've got storage this is that access locker from the outside so it gives you easy access underneath of this bed it's got the alarm system in this as well and uh, this one we've not got quite as much storage because we've got all of our bits and pieces underneath of here so this is where we've got if i can get it up our sort of 230 volt our 12 all of our heating and bits and bobs our system shut down our water and everything as well so um doing our water drain off is just down this side as I say, the Aldi central heating is underneath there as well. Um, more plug sockets, no dents or anything on the work surface. It's been looked after nicely. Uh, 230 volt and an aerial point. We've got, a, got somebody looking at vans today and they were sort of saying, oh, why don't they put more 230 volt sockets in the vans? Um, and normally about three or four from sort of manufacturers about what they like to put in. So that, it's just just generally as they as they are. Is it because if you overload them, no, they well, might. Well, yeah. Normally, if you've got a, 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 you, you don't sort of want to have a toaster running, a kettle running. You then got the fridge on. You've got your Aldi central heating on, high setting. It's just going to keep tripping the site. So it's just to try and not not have you running as many items. Basically, we have got a lot of sockets in this though. Saying that because we've got the TV points on the side, so mm. when you're in bed, and that will actually fold round. So. You can just leave it's it on big there. Enough. It's big enough. Oh yeah, that's good, isn't it? Just nearly, depending on how big a TV is, to get round the corner and actually be able to watch it at the front of the van as well. So that's quite nice. So you've not got to think about having another TV point at the front anywhere because apart from right up the front there, uh, there's not really where anywhere to put one, to be honest. Nice single beds. Uh, plenty of storage and our freestanding tables just hidden away there. Look at all the storage under there. Right, there is, and you've got the little, oh, what's the leg? It's the leg. Um, you've got the little lockers from the front as well. And again, same this side, got loads of storage just underneath of that side. And again, our little locker. And um, they've got some little cable ties there when they've cleaned it. And then at the back, we've got that nice big washroom, separate shower and toilet. So yeah, real, real nice fan. A uh, little dividing screen, extractor fan, nice sunroofs at the front here. Uh, and then we've got the CD, radio, etc. as well. As I say, Aldi Central heating, 
A nice, nice, uh, sort of appeals to couples, families. Uh, if you've got kids, they can use the, the single beds, you can make the double bed. If you're a little bit older, you've got the two singles and then somewhere for the grandkids at the front. Quite a few options with this. Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.